Hey guys, what's up? This is Revan, and I'm not really going to bring you a gameplay breakdown this time around. As some of you may have read somewhere, uh, the, most of the pro players are pushing for a ban of the FAMAS, the AUG, and Steady Aim. So we found an amateur team to scrim against using these rules. They hit us up on Twitter and we invited them to our games, so don't really judge them much by the gameplay. Uh, we pretty much we wanted them to use FAMASs, but I think, you know, a little bit into the game they switched to the rules that we're using. And we're using the, we're not using the FAMAS, we're not using the AUG, and we're not using Steady Aim. So I just want to ask you guys if you think this is more fun to watch, if you think if MLG banned the FAMAS, the AUG, and the Steady Aim, do you think it would bring in more stream numbers? Would you, you know, maybe try playing MLG? Or would you, you know, maybe watch it more often? Because I know that FAMAS versus FAMAS gets boring a lot of the time, and that's why a lot of us are pushing these rules. So let's start up the gameplay. And as you can see, I'm using the MP5K. I throw a nice prenade over towards Camo. I pick up a hit marker and I get stunned. But I wind up picking up the kill anyway, and I also get a double off the start, which is great. That allows my team to push up wood. And since we're on the least favorite side, Every time you can take control of wood, you know, that's great. I sealed the flag pull from Ego. He didn't really call out that he was going for it, so I took the initiative and I took it first. So roughly, oh yeah, this dude, uh, if you were in that guy's position, you should have went behind those double boxes right there that are going to be to my right right now. You should have went behind them. That's where you have the most cover in that situation. And, you know, I was able to take him out. So like 40 seconds into the game, we got our first flag hat. And a bit of a spoiler here, we do cap a lot of flags. I'm on the relay right now. Now, why am I on a relay right there? It's a three on two, sharps in my spawn. Well, let's look at where everyone else is. This dude's all the way near side 10. This dude's back trailer. And this dude's on my flag, so. I figured that I could at least get halfway down dirt before they're in any position to try to stop me. So let's look, I get halfway down dirt and look, all my teammates are spawning up right on top of me. I'm going to have great cover entering the flag and I do wind up capping it. Not only that, but I get away safely. A lot of times when you'll dive in for that cap, there'll be a guy at mid head glitch who'll kill you right after. So it worked out really well. I noticed that shark died near our mid, so I'm going to try to rotate back. And sure enough, he comes into me. I take him out and I'm just going to move up towards mid map. I don't think Ego's gonna get that cap. I think he died and they got the return. So I see this guy going down towards C tunnels. Bit of sloppy shooting, but the MP5 is really not good long range, which is fantastic. That means other assault rifles will definitely dominate long range. As you can see, now they're using the real set we are. So I pick up a Galil, and I'm really liking this cold camo. I really want prestige, but I'm not going to. I take one guy out of trailer, and I'm moving in. The main spawns for this side, are, they're going to be spawning right in front of you near that back trailer towards that C bunker door. But they did pull the flag, so I'm wondering where they're going to take it. Looks like they went dirt, and they got a wood spawn, so I take out one guy. I think the flag carrier, yeah, I noticed that the flag carrier passed, so I'm moving in for him. Looks like he went top wood. He juked me out a little bit. But my teammate calls that he'll go up there, so I'm just trying to find all the exits. But Fantasy comes in and takes me out. I think that was my first death. Yeah, that was my first death. I'm 8 1 right now with two caps. So, right now we're in a stalemate. And usually in a stalemate, you'll have the enemy flag carry, he'll be near back showers, and our flag carry will be near ammo creep. But I have no idea what this player was doing. He went towards the top camo, and I was able to pick him off. That was definitely not a small, smart play by him. And then off this spawn. I stunned someone bottom 10, I missed the grenade, and my I noticed that my teammate died near sea tunnel, so I'm just trying to move in, and I wind up taking out two players, so that's going to allow Ego to cap our flag, and I take out Fantasy for the third. Now, I want more flag caps, I want to be very aggressive, because, you know, maybe they could do the same thing to us on the other side, so we need to cap as many flags as we can, and here's that spawn trap I was talking about, they're spawning right in front of you. I put some, I'll put, I think I put more than enough bullets to take him out, but he wound up getting the best of me and ran away. Now, I got stunned. I don't really know where he's going to be coming from, so 
I wind up pushing in the trailer, maybe he tried to go through the window, doesn't look like that. And I, I have no idea where that guy went, so I'm just going to go for a relay. Let's see if this was a smart play. It's a 4 on 3, they have a guy in our spawn, another guy in our spawn, and a guy top 10, so I'm, I'm going to be able to get away pretty quickly. Ego's in the back of our spawn, so is RJ, and so is Sharp, so 3 on 2 in the back of our spawn, I'll take those odds any day. I always check my mid map, maybe that guy top 10 dropped out, tried to cut me off bottom wood. And uh, as you can see, my teammates take out all three members that were alive. Fantasy's the last guy, he's right in front of me, I take him out. And that's all four p players. So right now we have seven flag caps, which is pretty ridiculous. Usually you will never see that in the game. I pick up this guy's AK, I'm looking for his dude back trailer, no idea where he went. Pretty sure he ran away though. As I take out Sinister near mid map, I hop in the trailer, and this is a great play to do. When since the update, where you can't hear jumping or climbing or diving, you know you could just climb stuff, and people will not expect it, and that's exactly what I did. I get so many people caught off guard just by jumping inside that window. As I pick up the easy two piece, and that's our eighth flag cap, and with ten seconds left, you know we're not going to pick up another one. Thought I saw a guy bottom wood there. Looks like Sharp picked him up. And I'm just, I'm just shooting everyone right now. As you see, I just shot, shot my teammate. So going into halftime, I'm 18 and three, three caps, one return, and we're winning three for five, six, seven, eight to zero. Once again, you know, I'm not trying to post this video to show off or anything. I just, this is the only scrim that we played with these type of rule sets. So I just wanted to post it, see what you guys thought of it. And ego's going for a quick pull off the start. Let's pause it here, see where everyone is. I'm bottom wood, Sharp's just spawning up, so he should have some spawn kills. Since there's already at wood, and Fantasy's coming through mid-map, so there's really only one guy we have to worry about. I pro I definitely should've ran with Ego. I get shot in my back and taken out, but Ego takes out Sinister, which was huge, and he was able to get that flag hat. And usually the other team's gonna be spawning sea jeeps. Since they're not spawning there, they're probably spawning at the bottom sea tunnel, or they're spawning at dirt. So I took out Ankle pretty much off his spawn. I see a red dot near the mid-map, but Sinister takes me out of my bag. And I'm just going to push mid-map again. RJ pulled the flag, I'm getting shot in my back, and I'm going to be able to cut off, you know, pretty much all of tin area. I could see if they go back trailer from here. And I see a guy mid-map, I take him out pretty easily with some hip fire, and we do wind up capping that flag. I wind up stunning RJ, you know, I... The best thing to do when you stun a teammate is let them know that you stun them, not the enemy, because, you know, if you stun them, they'll be like, alright, you know, they don't have to worry as much if someone's coming or not. So it's just a little call out that you want to do. And also call out your grenades. Like, I noticed I had a guy bottom 10, I told him I had a grenade over towards CG, and that just so he doesn't push it. So our flag carrier died. Usually if you're a fantasy right there. I would definitely, since I killed our flag carry, don't go for that return. You're the only player from your team over there. You know, take that flag back trailer, get out of harm's way. But that just allowed us to get another flag cap. As I get a really nice two piece, going in for the three piece, I take out fantasy, and there's the four piece. Yeah, that was a pretty nice clip. Especially with that MP5, you know, I'm falling in love with the MP5, and I'm actually using it when people are using all the masses, and I'm really liking it. So I recommend you guys try to try it out. So I'm watching RJ's back, it doesn't work out too well, Apology takes me out. And our flag is pulled, but Sharp gets a nice two piece with the Spectre. And here you're gonna see a pre by me. I'm not sure if I get anyone. I also throw some stuns out. And you know, since they're not really spawning at CG yet, but they're behind the Jeep now. I don't know what, these guys definitely should have got me. You know, I was in a bad position, they knew where I was. I just got really lucky there, one guy missed a knife, and I took the other one out with some nice hip fire. But I'm trying to watch Sharp's back, but he died, so I take out Apology was behind them. I know that there's one more guy at dirt, and it looks like my teammate Ego may have taken him out with a nade. So we're going to go in for, what flag cap is this? This is going to be the 14th flag cap of the game. And once again, I really, I don't want you guys to think that I'm uploading this to try to show off that we're good, because... You know, we're really not that good of a team yet. There's still so much we have to work on. 
this is just you know new gameplay, new rule set, and I want you, I want your take on it. I want to know if this is fun to watch. You know, if MLG shouldn't change the rules. I really hope they do though. I really like these rules. And if you're apology in that situation, you definitely should have killed me. You probably should have went up top in the treehouse. You have more cover, and Fantasy should have gotten me there too. I got some nice hip fire on him. And then I put in the 16th flag cap of the game. And I do think we capped 10 flags on this side. You know, we have plenty of time, 50 seconds. And I'm just trying to cut off Ego's mid-map. One guy runs past me, I take him out. I go right to my spot, look top 10. Sure enough, there's a guy there, but he takes me out. And I believe Ego does get this cap after some fighting. He got fantasy, and I know there's one more in trailer, so I push him, take him out. And now there's only 23 seconds left. We gotta get two caps, so I'm putting this flag in. I dive it in, and now we have 18 seconds. Our sharps on the rej, on the what? What was that? Sharps on the relay. I was trying. To, I thought I was gonna say RJ because RJ was trying to push for 10 caps. So I take out apology mid map. See one more guy in trailer, and there it is. There's the 10th cap. I wind up going 38 and seven with the MP5. And once again, I'm not trying to embarrass these players. I just want to know your perspective. Was this fun to watch? You know, so please give me your takes. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Revan. See you guys later.